Tomorrow people are those who prefer to wait for their world to come to them instead of meeting it head on. They will tell you, in no uncertain terms, that they are going to get started tomorrow. The problem is that tomorrow turns into another tomorrow, and then another tomorrow, and another, and so on. Talent does not guarantee success. It's what you do with the talent that counts. When you move toward your world, your world moves toward you. What limitations are you placing on yourself? Wouldn't you rather try to succeed and fail than do nothing at all? Are you waiting for tomorrow? Hi, this is Al Noble with Minute by Minute here in Irvine, California for the book stand of John Andrews' book, Spread Some Love. Let's go and have a conversation with John. Hi, this is Al Noble here in Barnes & Noble in Irvine, California with the author of the love book called Spread Some Love. How are you, John? I'm doing phenomenal, Al. How are you doing? John, I'm doing fantastic. Listen, we're here for your book signing. So tell me something about you. Who is John Andrews? Well, John Andrews is just a, a little guy. I mean, I'm tall, but a little guy who grew up in the Caribbean and uh, came to America, you know, uh, you know, decided I want to make a change, make a difference. Lived in New York for a while, started my acting career in New York and, uh, you know, brought it to Hollywood and decided I wanted to write. And uh, here I am with um, Spread Some Love Relationships 101. So are you going to take it back to your homeland? Oh, yeah. I'll take it back to my homeland. <laughs> yeah. And have you spoke with your parents and people back there, your relatives, about uh, the, the uh, debut of your book and, and the publishing of your book? And what do they think of it? They absolutely know about it. And they, they're really excited about the fact that I'm able to, uh, to contribute to society because my mom, my, my, my mom passed, passed a few years ago, and she was really big on, this, on these uh, uh, issues. And uh, I've learned so much from her about love. And uh, it's good that I'm, they, they're happy that I'm able to give back to society you know a, a lot of people get stuff and they're not able to give back but they're happy that I'm able to give back and uh, it's just something that's gonna bless a whole lot of people speaking of your mother uh, how what part is it your father playing it is well, my dad passed when I was nine, but uh, he was uh, he was just a loving dad. He cared about cared about us. He wanted to see us do well in school. He was always there, and uh, you know, I kind of I kind of regret that he passed so early. I wish there was more I can learn from him. But sometimes things work out in such a way that um, he wasn't able to give me everything that he could have given me, but. My mom was able to do that because she picked it up and she just kept running with the ball and I think she scored a touchdown. What role model, what uh, uh, male figure in your life besides your mother that was very influential in your, in your life? Well, you know, I've had I've had some really really good friends. Um, uh, uh, one of my best friends in the world is uh, is Mark Berg. Uh, he uh, he did the, the the Saw franchise, and uh, he's been my best friend for like ten and a half years. And he's taught me a lot about um, commitment and a lot about um, loving and caring. And I've got so many other friends uh, in my life, and I've got so many mentors. You know, people like uh, John C. Maxwell, T. D. Jakes. I mean, I could go on and on just naming people. You know, who have really impacted my life and. Um, uh, not only made me the leader that I am today, but uh, put me in a position where I'm able to give back. You know, I, I love to be able to give back. You know, I, I it's very important. Isn't it? It's important to give back. You, you know, why take everything and don't give it back? You, you get some love, you got to give it back. Well, you know, in the churches of today, they say you have to give your your tithes and often, but you can also give of yourself, and that can, can be just important, can it? It's serving. I, 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 that's why I dedicated an entire chapter to the, the philosophy of the serve, um, chapter 11 in the book. And it talks about serving. And uh, a lot of people, uh, they're reluctant when it comes to giving, but they don't realize that the more you give and the same trajectory that you give is going to come back to you. And uh, serving is a big thing. Serving is a big thing. A lot of people really, you know, they want to live a, a nice, fulfilled, fulfilled life, but it's hard to do it if you don't serve. You, what you give comes back to you. And I like to talk about giving 150% of love. You give that, it's going to come back to you. It may not come back to you today or tomorrow, but somewhere along the line, love is going to come back to you. And when it comes back, you better be ready. <laughs> That's great, John. One more thing uh, from the business side of this. Uh, you, you, you wrote this book, 
you had it published and copywritten and all these uh, entities that you need to have a complete book published. Uh, how did you come about getting that process done? You know, I, I learned a lot from, uh, from my first book. I published my first book last year, and uh, it was a learning process for me. And I learned, I learned the inroads, you know, how to make things happen, you know, the right people to talk with, you know, I learned about promoting my book, promoting myself, and uh, that's what I've been able to do with this book. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot about marketing st strategies. Uh, you know, a lot of people got like two and three or four purposes, but I decided that I'm going to take the ball by myself and learn what to do in this arena because anything I do, I want to do 150%, and I'm glad that I was able to get the opportunity to learn how to market myself, how to market the book, how to promote myself, and how to get the word out that love is essential into the society. So, John, after you have the success with this book, Spread Some Love, I would like to know, is there anything forthcoming in terms of maybe a series or a feature movie or maybe a reality show or... Uh, where, where is it going from there? Are, are you just going to start go back to the pen and start writing some more books? Well, I, I don't know how much I'm able to discuss about what's, what's ahead, but um, this, uh, this product has turned into a franchise, and uh, everywhere I go, people are talking about it, and uh, we look in a lot of different ways. I know there's going to be a DVD series. I know people are already talking to me about television shows, talk shows, etc., but, you know, I'm not ruling out anything. My thing is, like, you know, I'm just going based on where I'm led and just make it happen so I can get the word out to people. One step at a time, huh? There you go, one step at a time. Women want to be loved and cherished with a king <laughs> to rule over them. Like, that says it all right there. Right? Uh, I need a king. <laughs> I need a king. Okay. We all need a king. <laughs> hey, Osha from the ocean. Hi. How are you all doing? Mind if I join you? Not at all. So I see you all enjoying the book. Yes. Good. Chapter 10, I told you to stay away from chapter 10. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm going to stay away. I think we've read chapter 10, 10 times. Wow, wow. <laughs> you have written a, a, a wonderful book here. Thank you. Love, spread some love, relationships 101. Are you in love? so that I can provide my ass. I think you understand, Mike. No, what do you want from me? I think you understand. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's just go, guys. <laughs> 